A final report on what happened to missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 was delivered to the family members of the people who were on the plane. I'm going to tell you what it said here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. The disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 has captivated the internet for 4 years now. For those that don't know, in March of 2014, flight MH370 was on its way to Beijing from Kuala Lumpur. Right after it left Malaysian airspace, it changed course for reasons unknown. 6 hours into the flight, the plane disappeared. And so did all 239 people aboard. The satellite and navigations aboard the plane were turned off. It is believed that the plane crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean. Since then, all the attempts to find the plane and its black box have been mostly unsuccessful. Only small fragments of the plane wings have washed up on beaches. The search for MH370 has turned out to be one of the most widespread underwater search operations in history. The heartbreaking part about it is that the family members of the people aboard the plane have no idea what happened to their loved ones. No one knows who to blame for the tragic disappearance. Naturally, when Whenever there's very little explanation for tragedies, there are conspiracy theories that pop up. One of the most popular conspiracy theories surrounding it is that the pilot and first officer crashed the plane as part of a suicide mission. Another is that the plane was suffering from a mechanical failure. And the last theory is, is that the plane was carrying around 5,000 kilograms of mango scenes and 221 kilograms of lithium ion batteries, which could have caught fire. As a way to cancel out many of the theories surrounding the mysterious disappearance, a press conference was given by Dr. Kok Su Chan. The investigator on the case. According to the final report, there was likely unlawful interference with the plane and it was turned around manually. The plane was not on autopilot. The report also rules out mechanical failure, but the emergency locator transmitters all malfunctioned. There were four of them aboard the plane. In order to rule out the possibility that the pilot was in on it, his background was researched extensively. The investigators found no reason to suspect there was any wrongdoing. Dr. Kok Su Chan did not assign blame, but he did say there were several protocols that were not followed through on by air traffic control in both Vietnam and Malaysia. Whoever was in charge of air traffic control was not looking at their radar display enough. Because of these mistakes, the plane went missing for an entire 20 minutes before anyone knew. Even though the report gave valuable insight on what happened to the plane, many of the family members who received it said it offered no closure and the info provided was wrong and the answers were vague. This is the last official report on Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, but many of the family members are still searching for answers. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for you on that. It's time to respond to some of your comments. Jack Shaw said, I painted my friend's face with silver eyeshadow. Now her face is shiny and her eyebrows went black. Does she look like an alien? I have an image of like a silver alien in my head. Joseph Garage said, Whatever happened to the information llama? Don't get me wrong, I love the potato, but the llama came first. Llama is still here, but llama has to stand on something, otherwise I'm just like holding a llama for no good reason and that's kind of weird. Where is it? Mia JS said, Who remembers Landon? Five years ago. Landon still owns IO, he comes into the studio a few times a week. He only hosts Top 10 and his own channel now though. Blaz said, Best channel on YouTube, and I've been a subscriber since you had 200,000 subs. That is a long time ago. Thank you for staying subscribed. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. Don't you worry though. Have you seen this other IO video? It's probably pretty good. I don't know which one it is, but I'm assuming it's good. Or if you're really into this channel, make sure you check out this playlist we put together for you. Also, make sure you follow me and IO on Instagram. Our links are posted in the description of this video. And smash that like, stay subscribed, turn on those notifications. I will see you in a future IO video.